That's that's great. I mean, we 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 often hear that we have to do it ourselves, but it's always, I think, awesome when we have a coach or a mentor, even from a family member or relative, someone who you know takes us on the, the proverbial wing and you know shows us the ropes so that we yeah. can sort of you know maximize our the positive successes that we can find. I think you that's the key and that's one thing i'll emphasize find mentors find coaches they can help accelerate your career they can really help you and i didn't know the value then but i know the value now and how much they influence you so and you don't have to have one mentor coach you can have multiple right right well you know in any career uh, that we have interviewed folks uh, on this podcast you know, there's, you know, there's all kinds of skills out there. There's the financial skills, there's the consulting skills, the digital skills, you know, those are things that we have to do to land the opportunities and jobs. But tell us a little bit about your uh, learning and how you've had to learn about some of the softer skills. You know, we've always hear about emotional intelligence and grit and resilience, you know, what are some of the softer skills that you've had to kind of learn and maybe to adapt to along the way? I think it was, I was lucky in a way when I was going to school, I was also working in the hospitality industry. I was working as a server waiting on tables. And then, you know, you meet a lot of people. So you would meet people who had some great, you know, they're having a great day. So you're having a great conversation with them, right? And then you'll meet people who probably didn't have a good day or they just want to talk to you and you just need to listen, that active listening. Right. And sometimes someone is having a really bad day, so they take it out on you, but you need to empathize with them, understand where they're coming from. So for me, I learned that in that industry. And Mark, one thing I realized is that the biggest skill is that the communication skill, the active listening, and also participating at the right time. So I always say that, you know, if you're a new employee, we'd like to hear your ideas. And you want to make sure that, let's say if you and I are talking, you are asking me for something. And if I provide feedback, if I participate in that conversation, then it becomes a two-way positive conversation. So to me, communication is the key. And now, I learned that in that industry. And then I was just blessed that when I got my first job and I got through the ranks to manager and executive, uh, there were a lot of trainings around soft skills, but the biggest one was communication and empathy. And, and if you look at the soft skills, in addition to soft skills, if you look at in my background, you'll see our core values for us. If you look at all of them, you know, focus on outcome, evolve constantly, succeed as a team, empathy, and be positive. What we are saying is that you have to be a good human being also. Let me tell you, if you are a good human being and have good communication skills, you'll do well in life. So communication skills are the key to me. Yeah. No, that, that, that's great advice. And I, you know, uh, I'm sure everyone who has been living in the U.S. for any length of time, we know and and all these talk shows, they can get very heated and we end up talking over one another. But I think if we just gave the other person a chance to talk and, mm -hmm. and we have to be able to listen, I think people, people do appreciate you in the workplace when you give them a chance to talk, to, to express themselves, to you know, talk about the challenges they face. Uh, I think those are all important attributes of a really good uh, culture within the organization. Yeah, and I think without culture, you don't have any organization. And you know, if I'm talking about my core values, these are our core values. They may not be aligned with other companies or people, but for us, if you want to be part of our culture, you have to be ingrained with these core values. They should be part of your DNA. To your point, you know, empathy is critical. You know, sometimes you don't know what a person is going through. Understand right. the perspective. Right. And, and as an example, focus on the outcome. So when we always talk about is that for our clients, is that can-do attitude. You got to have that because what they're going through, they have 
shareholders through to they uh, and they have certain results that they need to meet so we need to make sure we do our job if we commit to them in a, a certain time certain budget certain quality then we must deliver so that's to me that defines you as a person also and for us uh, we only work with clients who have similar core values because we work with them as as a true partner when we talk about our employees we call them our teammates we are not employees we have a uh, culture is big for us that's what I'm, i get passionate about it i can talk about it for a long time but for us i'm just the ceo i have roles and responsibility but i'm going to respect everyone i'm going to listen to everyone open door policy uh, for us it's important that you enjoy what you do i always say that you know you want to work with people that you can go have a beer with or coffee with right sure. so if you don't enjoy what you do then you need to change and do something that you really enjoy.